Okay, so now we're going to talk about the MIDI expression controls, uh, the routings, the modulators. Uh, and let's change, let's choose like a different, uh, maybe. Choose a cool wave. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Uh, nice. So we got five of them, and we got a few that is already by default uh, routed to some stuff. So first of all, uh, the velocity, what the velocity of your uh, MIDI controller or the velocity in the MIDI clip is affecting. By default, it's affecting the amp, the volume. So if I hit it soft or very strong, a slightly difference in volume. Let's bring it up to 100 so we can hear it better. So it just gives you more expression of how hard you hear the instrument. Or of course, if you do it in the MIDI clip, it makes a difference, this velocity. Now, what's interesting here that you can have velocity affect anything. So for example, let's take the filter and have velocity affects the filter. So if I hit it soft, the sound is filter. If I hit it strong, the sound is less filtered. Uh, so that's velocity. You can even invert the behavior of this. Uh, so velocity can be can affect anything, even the pitch. Depends on how hard uh, you hit the, or how fast you hear the key. Uh, note is basically key tracking, so it can follow which note you hit, and it's going to change. For example, in this case, the wave table position. Okay, let's uh, bring it a bit lower. Nice. So we can see the wave table changing according to the height of my note. I can reverse it and so on. So you can see you don't need much sensitivity here to give a tiny bit of movement. Uh, we can do the same for the filter, for classic filter tracking. So it's gonna be more filtered on the bottom. Nice. Um, PB stands for pitch band. By default, it's routed to the pitch. So we have two semitones on our pitch band wheel. And that's if you ever use the pitch band uh, in Ableton, right here in the MIDI clip, uh, that's also the range, two semitones and two semitones down. So just be aware of that. Uh, you can change that. By default, it's two semitones because of a guitar, uh, kind of a, a pull in the strings, right? Bend in the strings. Uh, but you can change it up to um, four octaves. You can even, let's say, open up the filter. So it's up to you what you want the pitch band to be. It doesn't have to even change pitch. You can change whatever else you want. Let's do the wave table position. Nice. Uh, so that's pitch band. AT stands for aftertouch. Not a lot of keyboards, not all keyboards or all MIDI controllers have this. But if you do, uh, it's the pressure sensitivity. So let me turn this down just so we can see it. See, when I change the pressure of my finger on the key, uh, we can see the uh, aftertouch coming up and down. So it can be a lot of things. Maybe we'll put it on the pitch a tiny bit. And now when I play a chord. And I change the pressure, we hear the pitch change a tiny, tiny bit. We can put on the filter. Let's open up the filter with aftertouch. So that's an aftertouch pressure sensitivity. You can apply to anything. And lastly, the modulation wheel, which by default is routed to the uh, oscillator one position. Bring this up again. But you can map it to whatever you want. That's the modulation wheel. And those are the five MIDI expression uh, controls that you can apply to anything so you can make the instrument um, really react uh, to your way of playing uh, or if it's in the MIDI clip really react to all the programming the velocity and the, uh, you can program the aftertouch here channel pressure and pitch band and velocity of course and the note height all of those can be used to make your instrument so much more uh, expressive uh, nice so that's that catch you next time